Okay, Brandon, we finally made it. We are in Alaska. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. We took off on our three week F-150 journey, leaving home in Charleston and heading to near La Crosse, Wisconsin to see Ed and Barbara Cruz. Ed had married us 50 years ago. Next, we went to Northern Minnesota, where we had a great lunch at the home of classmates Doug and Debbie Wesley. Our next stop was to another classmate in Battle Lake, Minnesota, where I saw my former neighbor, Bev Walters Thompson, at her home, sitting right there on the lake. Then we went on the exciting trip through North Dakota, across the Canadian border, all the way to Edmonton. Eventually, 2,200 miles later, we got to the start of the Alaskan Highway. So here we are, Brenda. Yes. Where are we? Mile marker zero, Alaskan Highway. Mile marker Highway. ground zero, Alaskan Highway. Yes. And we've, we've come 2,000 miles. Yes. And now we've got another 1,500 miles to go up through the Alkine Highway. To get to Alaska. To get all the way to Alaska. I, Onward to Alaska. Upward. Yeah, right. Upward to Alaska. Yes. During our journey through northern Canada, we stopped at the sign forest and left our Illinois license plate sign. Do good too. When you travel, look for it on the south side of the sign forest. We found the Yukon to be beautiful, including this picture at Destruction Bay. As we crossed the international boundary between Canada and Alaska, we came to Toke, Alaska, where we stayed in a hotel with sod roof. Then we headed to our home for the next week at the Snow Goose Bed and Breakfast in Palmer, Alaska. The Snow Goose served as our touch point. We had fantastic hosts, and while in Palmer, we visited my high school classmate, Steve Banzi, and his wife, Rosie, who served us fresh Alaskan salmon. We also took trips to Mount McKinley, or Denali, and a trip up Hatcher Pass. And we are here at a bed and breakfast. We had our first breakfast this morning, which is very good. Very good. And so we're here uh, on our F-150 trip, no longer the Mustang trip. We have modified our trip because... The roads are pretty rough up here. The roads are rough, it deserves a truck, and we no longer have the Mustang. So uh, this Christmas we have uh, three kids. And we have um, uh, one in Texas with five kids, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can, you can agree with me right along here, it's okay. Uh, and then we have somebody in Chicago, Leslie Ray. Uh, and we have uh, uh, Kara in town, in Charleston, mm -hmm. with two, three kids. We found Alaska to be a marvelous state in the summer. Of course, I got my 18 holes in on this beautiful golf course surrounded by mountains and a glacier. Our travels home took another eight days as we stopped in Helena, Montana to have a hamburger with Wendy Weed and her husband, both Des Moines University graduates. We then headed to Northern Iowa and spent the night with good friends Ken and Joan Miller, taking some pictures of our old clinic and home in Elgin, Iowa. One more stop in Monticello to have lunch with Ashbenners. We were happy to get home that evening. Back the F-150 performed flawlessly. Back and from while we missed the Mustang at times, oh, we were glad oh, to have the truck in yeah. many of the areas of Northern Canada and Alaska. 2023 was a great year. We hope that you feel God's love as we celebrate the birth of His Son. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Smooches. <laughs>